Hey, I wanted to sit down with you all and have a little chit chat about natural hair. Because I hear a lot of people talk about how natural hair is really, really expensive. And I think it's just like anything else. It is expensive if you make it expensive. So, I just want to talk to you about, and I'm, I keep looking down because I do have some notes. I want to talk to you about six ways that I make my natural hair more affordable than actually having a relaxer. There are so many products out there that may or may not work for you. And natural hair products have become like a really, really big industry lately. To me, they actually are more expensive than the regular products that we used to buy when we had a relaxer. So what I did do is find cheaper solutions to satisfy my product junkie mentality, but give me cheaper alternatives. And one product that I found that I live by is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. This stuff is awesome. It's only about $4. It comes in like a really big bottle. I think it's like 32 ounces. And it lasts me for a while. And um, it's got a lot of organic products in it. I can read most if not all of the products in it. And so I don't have to worry about it drying out my hair or anything like that. And I also use it as a leave-in as well as a deep conditioner. There are a lot of homemade hair products that really work, and I see a lot of women getting very good results. Like, I could not believe that flaxseed gel actually gave me gel. Like, it actually works on my hair, you know, it's phenomenal. And so, I've been using flaxseed gel ever since I figured out that we could DIY uh, products using, um, you know, it it's always frustrates me when I go to the store and you see a... A conditioner and it might be you know a milk conditioner or avocado based conditioner and it's like well why not just put the whole avocado in my hair or why not just use milk in my hair and so that's why I, I like stuff like the maximum hydration where they have like the cherry Lola treatment because you're putting the avocado in your hair you're putting the, the banana in your hair and you can bet your bet you bet that you're giving your hair all of the nutrients I do have a favorite product, and that's my tea tree conditioner from Trader Joe's. However, your favorite may be the Jamaican Castor Oil by Shea Moisture, uh, which I do want to try. But that's your favorite, then get it, you know, and make sure that you're using it in every possible way that you can. That way you're not breaking the bank and you are still dwindling down to using a minimal amount of products. You're going to keep the conditioner and then you don't have to worry about if you're going to keep the conditioner and you're going to make your gel at home then you're only buying one product or if you're going to buy your gel but make your conditioner you know you can kind of offset it the same way you can make your own hot oil treatment instead of buying find a product that does it all i was really surprised to see that clay could clean my hair so well therefore i didn't need shampoo um, and then if you add certain products like honey and olive oil to it, it doesn't dry out your hair. Um, and then also, like I said, my tea tree conditioner, I use that as a deep conditioner and I use it as a leave-in. It's cheap and it works. Buy from stores that allow you to return the unused portion of the product. I know that Ulta is a good place to do this, and I believe that Sephora may be a good place to do this, but definitely check up on the store's policies to see which stores will allow you to take a product home, try it, and if you don't like it, hey, bring it back. That way you have nothing to lose. Another good way to get a discount on products and to keep your natural hair budget in check is to search YouTube for promo codes. There are a lot of YouTubers who get sponsorships and along with their sponsorship, they get to give, offer you a discount on that particular product that they're promoting. So you know you're going to need bobby pins, but do you really need curl formers? Are there any alternatives out there to curl formers? Are there curl former dupes? Yes, there are. Do you really need a hooded dryer or can you just get one of those bonnets that hook up to your um, handheld dryer? 
you know, it's ways like that that you can cut corners and still get the same results that you want. So I hope that this helps to bring it back into perspective that it doesn't have to be expensive to maintain your natural hair, but it does take some time as what any kind of hair takes time for you to take care of it. So I hope that this helps you in your journey on becoming natural, staying natural or transitioning. Thank you so much for watching. Please take a look at my last video on how I keep my nails done for seven days straight with regular nail polish. And check out my daily vlog if you're interested in seeing my daily life. Thanks for watching. Please comment to this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.